Hello and welcome to a new video about AC circuits. Today we want to talk about how this... Last time we talked about how to calculate AC circuits. Yeah, that with every element has a certain resistance. Yeah, so we had there a resistor, a capacitor, a coil, and we said, okay, everything is acting in fact like a resistance and those resistances were yeah, that the complex resistance, the impedance it was called, set R from a resistor was R plus J0. I skip it now. Yeah. Then the resistance of a capacitor was minus J divided by omega C or 1 divided by J omega C. And the impedance of a coil was J omega L. And, of course, this Ohm's law for alternating current was also available, so that was U equals, and now it's the AC complex uh, resistance, yeah, the impedance, times I. And now we want to have a look how, what this implies. Mm -hmm. Want to have a look what this implies? We will start, let's start here. Yeah. For me it was always hard to understand which which uh, voltage and so on when I learned this, which voltage to use and, and uh, it's a parallel connection. So on all elements is the same voltage. Uh, that's how a parallel connection works. It's the same voltage. So on R, on C, on L is everywhere the voltage U. And I now say, okay, the voltage U at a certain point in time does look like that. That's my U. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit thicker. We have a certain phase. Of, of of my voltage, yeah, phi u, zero phase, and that's it. And now, let's have a look. What is happening here with I? Let's start at the R, all right? Let's start at the R. Let's have a look. So here is R. So I equals u divided by R. R is a real number. There's no phase shift, so angle zero. So, and we already said last time, we are in phase. So my IR is going in this direction and has a certain length depending on the size of R. So this is IR here. With the same angle, because R has no complex component. Let's have a look what it means for C. I will, I will note this. Okay? So we say uc, or u in this case, u equals, and now it's set c, it's 1 divided by j omega c, multiplied by ic. Yeah? And we want to calculate ic. So my ic equals j omega c multiplied by u. So u is this pointer, j omega c is pointing in this direction. We have to add, we have to add the angles of our two, so we have phi u plus 90 degree. Yeah? We have phi u plus 90 degree and a certain length, use the red one, a certain length, so we have here, I see, yeah? we have here 90 degree because j omega has 90 degree. Alright? This means, Actually, we have to keep in mind that it's rotating in this, in a mathematic positive way. Yeah, it's rotating like this. And I see is before U. Yeah? This is clear, because on a, on a capacitor, first the current has to rush in, then the, the, the uh, voltage is building up. Right? That it's, yeah, that's how it is. Hmm? And let's have a look, what is J? If here we have J omega, we divide by J omega L. So we divide by 90 degree, and if we divide, we have to subtract the angles. So it's U phi U 
minus 90 degree because we're dividing by j. Yeah? So here in this other direction, longer, shorter, does depend on the on because it's omega L. Yeah? So here we have I L. Yeah? Also 90 degree. But behind the current. We say here the current is behind, here the current is before. Okay. And what is now I? Yeah? I is the sum node rule here. I is the junction rule. I is the sum. I equals IR plus IC plus IL. So let's do this. IR plus IC. So here. Vector. We're adding up as a vector. Yeah? IC plus IL. Going down here. How far? To here. And here, this would be my i, which equals ir plus ic plus il. We also have a tiny, tiny angle here, phi i. If il would be a little bit longer, then phi i would be negative. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. But in here, between those two, we also have an angle, phi. Yeah? And phi is called phase, phase angle. And in this case, it's positive. We always count from the current to the voltage. You can remember this by the alphabet. I is before U. Or is this even working if I would have used the English symbols, I is before V as well. Okay, so this is a positive angle. Positive angle is also called inductive. Because also here, I is behind U at a coil, and this is called inductive. So in this case, phase is positive. Yeah, this is how it is working. Let's switch to our series connection. Hmm? Let's switch to the series connection. Uh, this time it's the same current. I now draw the current. That I really don't care how. By the way, I really don't care. <laughs> what would have happened if I would not have drawn this U in this direction, but in this direction or in this direction? Really nothing. Because all other arrows would have turned the same other, it would, it, all things would have turned. Yeah? And that's the case. Usually it doesn't really matter where to start, where is zero. This really doesn't matter. Usually it matters the relative positions of the, of the arrows. And so I can start however I like. This is what I meant, uh, that the, the, um, Starting point, the zero point, is not that important. Important is always the relative positions of those arrows to each other. Now I choose, chose also some starting point. And yeah, you are going in this direction. Same direction, because R has no... Here we have U R. Huh? R has no... No complex, no no angle, so same angle. Yeah. C yeah. minus minus ninety degree. It's going down. So U at a capacitor is ninety degree in this direction. Now I draw a long one. You see, yeah. here we are ninety degree because simply we have to multiply with minus j omega c, and minus j omega c is pointing in this direction, so we are multiplying this angle, phi i, minus 90 degree. Huh? Well, if we're dividing, it's, all, it's the same. Huh? And now, uh, let's also come to yeah, ul. ul. Here, we multiply with j omega l. Here, this would be j omega l multiplied by i. So we are adding 90 degrees. So here, 
we have UL. The lengths, like said, they are depending on the well, how big is C, how big is L, and so on. Well, the result will be a value. Hmm? That's that. And now, loop rule u equals ul plus uc plus ur. Now let's do this. ur plus uc. plus ul, or oh, it's always vector adding, we're at this point, and here we have now our u. If you're watching the German version, there it's different. Yeah, there I've chosen this a little bit longer, this a little bit shorter, and it just depends on, on the values of the components. Yeah. So here we have again our phi u, yeah. and now what is happening with our phase? The phase is again here, phi. And in this case, phi is negative. Negative. Yeah. Because we always look from I to U. Yeah. So this is acting more like a capacitor. And this is acting more like a, a, a coil. You see, everything fits somehow together. Yeah. By the way, you what could also be done is that uh, you make, as in a series connection, you just add up all, all impedances. So set, set total is set R plus set C plus set L. Yeah? So in this case, so set is set 1 plus set 2 plus set 3. And so on. this is working exactly the same as for resistors. And also in parallel connections working the same. 1 divided by set total equals 1 divided by set 1 plus 1 divided by set 2 plus 1 and so on and so on. What we discussed also on resistors is working with impedances as well. The only thing I have to take care of is those, those uh, complex, these are complex numbers then. All right? And if I would, if I would calculate the, the complete impedance of this, yeah, I, and then use this one, I would exactly have this, it's turned out the same, turning out the same. Yeah, so we can have a phase shift caused by some uh, coils, capacitors, a phase shift between uh, current and, and, and voltage. What this implies, because if we have a phase shift, we are not only having one power, we're having more powers. More power! That sounds good, right? We will see. Because next time we are talking about power in AC current, uh, in AC circuits. How? There are quite some different powers there. Huh? Why? Next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.